Ogun State Governor Dagbo Abiodun has warned indigents and residents against violent attacks on people of other tribes residing in the state. Abiodun gave this warning in Abeokuta, the state's capital, on Wednesday during the celebration of the 45th anniversary of the state. The governor's warning is coming days after an acclaimed activist, Sunday Igbo, led some youth to Yewan North local government area of the state where herdsmen were said to be terrorizing farmers and residents. The government immediately disowned Mr. Igbo, saying his help is not needed to tackle insecurity in the state. There are reasons for us to disagree on certain issues of essentials, but we only disagree to agree and move forward. We must not encourage those taking the embers of violence for the tradition of our great nation. A country where tribes and tongues may differ, but stands in brotherhood is where unity in our diversity thrives. We all have duties and responsibilities and obligations to aid better understanding of our local and national realities. All we need to do is manage our differences effectively and efficiently, and Nigeria will be greater. In a related development now, aggrieved Edo women have blocked major roads in the state to demand the immediate eviction of herdsmen in the state. The protesters say they have lost a lot as a result of the activities of the cows on their farms. The women said they were no longer safe as the herdsmen had taken over surrounding forests and bushes in the area. Uh, following the recent killing of two uh, vigilante men in Ugo, local uh, community of Uyangwa, local government area of Edo State, stakeholders have asked the government to take proactive actions. Uh, speaking with Plus TV Africa in the state capital, they say the spate of insecurity in the state create worries for travelers. They, however, urge the state government to harness the strength of its youthful population. This accusation that the military are one-sided is not true. Show critics that uh, this accusation that the military, Nigerian government and military are not strong enough to disorganize bandits is not true. They can disorganize it. Let them come up. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.